Hey everyone, what's up? It's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I have some love after lockup, life after lockup updates for you guys. I have four, so let's just jump right into it. So the first update I have for you guys is about Doug. So it looks like his, he, he was supposed to have a preliminary examination I don't, I don't know if that's different than a pre preliminary hearing or if that's the same thing. That was originally scheduled for the end of September, but it looks like it got moved to November 16th. So here it is. His next hearing is supposed to be November 16th at 1 p.m. Um, I guess from what I've seen online, it is fairly common for court hearings to be rescheduled and be rescheduled and be rescheduled. That's kind of a bummer, I would think, for anyone going through a trial or going through the criminal justice system, but maybe that is working to their benefit. I have no idea. But here is his next court hearing, November 16th. And um, this is, you know, in regards to all of those charges. But moving on, next I wanted to talk about Sarah and Sean because Sarah and Sean, in the, the last episode of Life After Lockup, it was weird. Um, it was, we saw her get picked up from prison and then it's two months later. So it's like, what, what the fuck happened in those two months? Well, I can confirm that there was a several week gap between when she was picked up from prison and what we saw in the last episode. I'm not sure if they filmed other content in between then. I've been told it wasn't a full two months, but it was several weeks. And there was a bunch of things that actually went in to that and the reason why they were away from each other for so long one was that sean actually got a job and he was working six days a week at that time and the other thing was that sarah was really working um she's in active recovery and that was a huge priority for her um her daughter was a huge priority for her so with all of the stress and unexpected anxiety that came with being released and being on TV. It was really important to have to set priorities and abide by those. So those are a couple things that led to that that little gap in them seeing each other. But it wasn't I, I was told it wasn't for lack of affection for each other. It was just schedules and trying to for Sarah reacclimate to society. I was also told that and I've been told this by many cast members and by many people that have appeared on di def different reality shows. You know, they always film a ton of footage and the cast members they actually don't know what exactly is going to make it, what order things are going to be shown in until they watch it with us. So, you know, while thing, things can be edited to look a certain way, as we know, um, things can definitely be spun to seem more dramatic or more extreme than they were as in the time period that they spent away from each other. It was several weeks, um, but it wasn't two months. Next, I wanted to talk about Tia and Nicole. Tia and Nicole for a couple weeks now, I, they have been advertising, marketing online, especially Instagram, that they're going to kind of give their side of the story, no holds bar, give interviews, go live, or maybe not give interviews, but go live, take questions, and give their side of the story and that hasn't happened. And so this was posted a, a full week ago. Um, Tia and Nicole both posted their this email address. It's Tia Nicole LAL at gmail.com. And this caption is from Nikki. We are super excited to announce that starting this week at Tia Simmons and I will be posting Q and A videos 
Once a week, we will sit down on camera together and answer each and every question sent from you guys. Send your questions for Tia, for myself, or for both of us to tianicolelal at gmail.com and watch our video each week to find out our answers. So that was a week ago and we haven't seen a video yet, which I, which is a bummer because I know for myself, I would love to see them answering people's questions. I'm not sure how happy the network would be with that, but as a viewer and a fan of the show, I would love to see them answering directly people's questions. Um, and what is also interesting is there were several days last week where they were both pretty active on social media and then this week it has been radio silence neither one of them has posted in i think six days or a week so i that's pretty interesting so i wonder if they're i don't know if they're like organizing this and trying to put like a YouTube channel together. I have no idea, but it would be really interesting to see them answer some questions. And finally, I wanted to talk about Marissa, Dylan, and Heather. Now, if you guys follow Heather on social media, or if you're a part of the Love After Lockup subreddit, I think they've even branched off into another subreddit at this point. Um, to like just talk about Heather because other people were kind of getting sick of it in the main subreddit. But if you are following any of the offline community regarding Love After Lockup, people have been talking about Heather for a long time because she's, she posts really alarming posts at times, things that are confusing, um, she'll post about Dylan a lot and, and she's still doing it. This is several years now after they've broken up and it's just still going on. So here are some of her most recent posts on her Instagram stories. This one says, I've been exploited since 2015 or prior and am completely exhausted. This one says, I pray daily for resolution. You won't let me work. You won't let me be with my family. What the fuck do you want? And then this is a quote. I can respect any person who can put their ego aside and say, I made a mistake. I apologize. I am correcting the behavior. And the subreddit that's dedicated mostly to Heather is uh, people be tripping. And I will link that down in the description. Um, then she made this post that has Dylan's mugshot on it. When I met my ex-husband Dylan, he was not okay. Prison and love saved his life. I never deserved the injustice you allowed and continue to allow. It's my time. Um, and same caption, but this is another um, photo in that post of her visiting him. I think if I remember correctly, because I actually interviewed Heather last year and she was making all of these same claims a year ago. So I think that is worth noting. When I interviewed Heather a year ago, she had been making the claims that she was being followed and that essentially Dylan and Marissa were concocting ways to sabotage her life. Um, and Dylan had been doing this since he was incarcerated. Um, she didn't really elaborate too much on that, but that that those were her claims at the time. And it looks like she is still making those claims. Now, last weekend, on my Saturday Night Live, I had told you guys that I was gonna be interviewing Dylan and Marissa because on Saturday during the day, Marissa had actually reached out to me to say, hey, you know, we haven't been able to connect for an interview, but we really wanna come on and, you know, talk to you and talk to everyone who watches you. And I was like, great, like definitely come on my channel, like let's sit down, let's talk and give me your side of the story. You know, I've talked to Heather, I've talked to Marissa actually a couple times. Um, I have not talked to Dylan and I was super excited for that. So that was Saturday. 
On Sunday, I messaged the Zoom link and I tried to confirm the time that we had agreed upon and I didn't hear anything uh, from Marissa. She was the one I was talking to. So I was like, I guess things fell through and I let everyone know that things fell through. So then though on Sunday, she Marissa started posting things that kind of leads you to believe that perhaps they may have broken up. And she posted this, um, cherish y'all boyfriends because a man took mine. Um, and her like addition to that was some emojis. Um, she also posted this. I was the loneliest when I didn't know how to be alone. And it's worth noting that ever since last Sunday, she has only posted solo pictures of herself. So she has not posted anything with Dylan. Well, yesterday, Dylan made a post. Um, he posted a series of pictures. Here's one of them. And this was the caption. Honest moment. I have, by the grace of God, had more second chances than any human deserves. At freedom, opportunity, real love. I treated those gems like dirt. They are to be cherished, not stepped on or stepped over. Don't let your blessings become lessons. Look at the people around you that elevate you with zero self-interest. Look at the people who loved you when you were at your worst. Appreciate those people and reciprocate that energy. If you have someone who's in that type of blessing in your life, drop their name in the comments so they can know how much you appreciate them. Now, I'm gonna be completely honest. One of the things that I've noticed with Dylan and his social media posts since, well, since he was released from, from prison is that he seems to be always like marketing something or selling something and everything he posts just comes off that way. Um, so it, it, this is really interesting that the last portion of this, he seems to be kind of having a vulnerable moment in the beginning. And then at the end, it's kind of like, if you have someone you know and love, like drop their name in the comments. So I, that was just kind of interesting to me. And it seems like maybe, like the way I'm reading this is maybe he did something that he knows he messed up and he's trying to, without directly putting it out there, trying to make amends for something. And I would assume that would be towards Marissa. I haven't heard if he's had any contact with Heather, but I I would suspect that that would be a no if, if we were to ask, but I have no idea. So, that are, is just some updates for you guys for the Love After Lockup universe. Let me know what you think about everything that's going on. Make sure you leave a comment, like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Reality Squad, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care, have a good one, much love.